Next up is Rich Clayton, Vice President of Business Analytics Product Group at Oracle. Rich is responsible for driving global adoption of Oracle's business intelligence, big data analytics, and enterprise performance management solutions. He has a passion for helping companies transform their operations with analytics and driving change in financial management processes. He continuously researches industry trends, interacts with customers and partners, and presents at finance forums, big data events, and analytics symposiums around the world on Oracle strategy and future of analytics. Welcome, Rich. Thank you, and very glad to have you today. Rich, you are part of Oracle Cloud Platform, Business Analytics, and Big Data Group. Can you tell us more of your role? Thank you for your, your uh, opportunity to, to meet with you and the team. It's, it's really an exciting opportunity to be part of this wonderful journey together. Um, I'm Vice President of Product Strategy at Oracle Analytics, and my role is to help coach our customers to get the most out of, out of analytics and data uh, as an organization. Um, I contribute to a variety of data for good programs. I teach analytics at the uh, University of Oregon and a few other places. And I try to mentor young professionals as they're looking to, uh, to join our exciting industry. So thanks again for having me today. Advanced innovation and business agility with cloud, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and analytics is powering the organizations into data-driven businesses. Can you tell us what is Oracle's strategy in data and analytics? Oracle's strategy in analytics has is, is really been uh, articulated over the last few years. And last year we brought in a new executive, TK Anon, to help crystallize our vision and strategy. And it really has three fundamental principles to it. First and foremost is around augmented. Augmented is empowering and, in, and embedding machine learning directly into core analytic processes, not just for data scientists. In fact, that's a, a secondary purpose, but really for the clickers in the organization. You know, the people that need to do analysis and don't have time and need to explain why something is happening and don't have the curiosity or the ability to do R squares and, you know, random forest types of algorithms. So augmented analytics is really one of the critical principles, and that really embeds machine learning across the entire process, entire journey of analytics, from data enrichment to uh, data um, preparation, data modeling, all the way to data discovery and helping find patterns that are hiding in data. The second aspect of our strategy is around integration and created an integrated experience. What we know now is that 70 to 80% of the time is spent by business analysts trying to organize, aggregate, summarize, find, synthesize data, and only 20 to 30% is actually spent analyzing the data. So integration means that analytics needs to be integrated with a data science capability, with a modern data warehouse platform. It also needs to be integrated with SaaS applications like performance management and the EPM area, like our ERP and HCM applications. So integration is a really critical piece. If you look at alternatives in the market, they may do a great job at visualization, but they don't do a real good job around data enrichment, data preparation. You have to get a separate tool for that. So with Oracle, we really differentiate by not only integrating with the Oracle ecosystem, data warehousing and SaaS applications, but also integrating that entire journey into one experience. And the third pillar of our strategy is around collaboration. You know, uh, data in silos is only worth so much. When we can have common definitions, when we can understand the KPIs that drive our operations and our business outcomes, we can achieve more together. And yet collaboration generally happens when PowerPoints are sent around or when Excel files are put on servers or when desktop visualization tools are used to present data. And that's as far as it goes. And collaboration to us really means creating a foundation for learning, for not only sharing insights uh, and actions, um, but also connecting with uh, our customers, connecting with our suppliers, 
and leveraging machine learning to identify what next metric should I be looking at. So collaboration is really the third key principle. Now, one just small other kind of important factor, I guess, is that if you've been around Oracle Analytics for a long time, you probably know we have a whole soup of names of products. We now have consolidated that into three products across the company. We have Oracle Analytics Cloud, which many of you are aware of. That's a, a platform for both governed and self-service analytics. The corollary to that is Oracle Analytics Server. That product is available to all of our existing Oracle BI uh, customers at no license fee. It has all the modern capabilities of Oracle Analytics Cloud. And the third is a new application we delivered called Fusion Analytics Warehouse. This is a suite of uh, prepackaged analytic applications on top of our SaaS, uh, Fusion SaaS. Now, unlike what we did in the past, where we would ship you a product, you would customize it, and it'd be very hard and expensive to upgrade. The Fusion Analytics Warehouse is both pre-built and extensible, and I'm happy to share more details with you um, in the time ahead. But today we have that application in place for both ERP and HCM, and we're really excited about the, the potential for this as our SaaS business continues to grow. Rich, you're a customer coach on analytics. You enable them to get the benefits of Oracle Analytics Cloud. What is your message for our customers on how they can improve their business outcomes with leveraging the analytics and the data-driven uh, insights? No, I, I uh, really take it as an honor to, to collaborate with um, our partners and our customers around how to get more out of analytics. And analytics is really a, a team sport and by that, I mean the team involves both um, business and IT coming together to solve problems. When one tries to do it on their own, you get uh, suboptimal results. So first and foremost, I think having a strong partnership with business and I, between business and IT is essential. I think all the new technology that's happening in the market right now has really created a need to relook at how we do things. What is IT's role going forward? Is it building data models and pushing them over the fence? Probably not. Now, business users can do self-service data modeling. And so from an IT perspective, we really have to redesign our roles, uh, whether they be data engineering roles, whether they be data storytelling roles, citizen data scientists, and so forth. So first and foremost, I'd say, um, we have to reevaluate our uh, organizational and talent model. Secondly, um, many of you have built BI competency centers over the last 20 years, and it's time to get rid of them now. And the reason it's time to get rid of them is that the tools have matured in such a way that we don't need that anymore. What we need to focus on instead of creating these reporting centers, if you will, is building data literacy. And there's all kinds of great ways in which you can do that. Uh, third thing I would say is, is that we all get hung up around the tooling, but I think we need to focus on the KPIs, the ones that matter. Have more discussion about that than, than which tool is, is right for the job that we're trying to do. And the final com uh, comment I would make in this regard is um, if you haven't explored a data for good project in your company or in your organization, do so. Uh, not for public relations purposes, but to learn and to create purpose for people's work. Connect it to your volunteer work um, and contribute to um, your, uh, your charity of cause or the, the interest, the passion that you have. That's a real wonderful opportunity for you to invest in your people and invest in societal incomes. Gartner says that, that organizations that do this um, have 50% faster hiring for data-related jobs. And I know we're in a a data scarce talent pool right now. So that's an important facet um, in terms of getting more from your from your analytic initiatives. What trends will most impact the organizations on how they utilize data and analytics in 2020 and beyond? So what is the advice to our customers on what they must be doing to maximize the data and analytics in their organization? 
you know, I think maximizing analytics in your organization really uh, is a change management effort. And um, developing a framework and developing an approach to what kinds of capabilities you intend to develop over the, the, the months and years ahead. Um, business managers and finance, marketing, HR people are not interested in the 12 to 18 month waterfall projects that have high risk, high cost, and low probability of success. So you really have to take a sprint and agile methodology and agile approach to your analytics projects to get the most out of them. And obviously, you know, our view is that augmented analytics has huge potential. Um, so rather than saying, well, we're not sure if, it, if it's relevant or applicable to the work that we do, why not say, how could we best utilize it? How could we best embrace cloud? Uh, one of the things I've seen over the last few months is that customers have taken antiquated systems on-prem, written in OBIE, um, the dashboards and reports, and they've moved them to the cloud and expected magical results. Like magic was gonna happen because it's now in the cloud. And they get let down because nothing, no magic happens. And the reason is, is they didn't reimagine the process. They didn't look at with a fresh pair of eyes, what are the analytic needs that we have today and how do we modernize our strategy to meet those needs? So those are just a few ideas I have in terms of how to get more out of uh, the systems that, and the approach that you're taking. Rich, how can customers benefit from the partnership that your team has with Oracle partners like Sunatech. You know, Sunatech and, and Oracle have been partners for a very long period of time, and we really value this partnership. Um, it's created tremendous success for our joint customers in the past, and we think that will continue to be the case uh, going forward. This is a rapidly changing market, and I think you all have at Sunatech have done a great job of keeping current. And so this partnership brings many opportunities for our customers, um, brings opportunities to help design reference architectures, help um, sequence uh, roadmaps and, and sort of work through that uh, set of cases that are being presented um, today. Let's face it, the use cases that we had in February, just as an example, are not the use cases we have in March. And so that is also true today. And we think that um, having a strategic partner will allow you to think through uh, the, if you will, the, the cost benefit of the variety of opportunities out there. What it all get, kind of boils down to is getting started. And I think, you know, having some kind of proof of value is really important to doing that. It shows executives that you're listening, that you're going to react and respond quickly and that you can bring data together on demand as needed to fulfill an immediate need. After all, that's what analytics is about, is to serving the business, not just doing cool charts. So um, I think together, uh, Sceneritech and Oracle really provide you a, a great foundation to advance your position in cloud and really take advantage of the emerging innovation that's happening and the best practices approaches that Sceneritech has. So thank you very much.